Forgive the pug, but this town is grim in more ways than one. One of the saddest stories told of a girl commanded to be the straw into gold. 
On evening the miller and his mate walked into an inn to celebrate with an hour of companionship and cheer washed down with a pint of beer. Hey! They sat together in the parlour and ordered a chicken tikka masala. A chicken tikka bar one please and light the fire before I freeze. Two beers and a chicken tikka, how is that for service? Could be quicker. And as they enjoyed their beer and curry, the friends talked free from care or worry and then the miller proposed a toast. To my daughter Swamp, I should invite you, but she's the cleverest girl in the whole nation. More than cause an altercation. But Miller, you always like to daze us with your fine words and flowery phrases. We've often heard your corny tales whenever you're winding yourselves, and so I have to disagree. My daughter's most hands you'll ever see. Oh no, she isn't. Oh yes, she is. Oh no, she isn't. Oh yes, she is. Well, my daughter's a prim ballerina. My daughter's an Olympic gymnast. You must have seen her. Well, my daughter's got a first class degree. My daughter has a PhD. Well, my daughter runs a mile in a minute. Let's have a race. My daughter will win it. Well, my daughter has a whole new mind. My daughter is watching a man for fun. But my daughter has the highest IQ ever scored. My daughter have a, has the best Actress Academy Award. My daughter climbed out Everest in half an hour. My daughter pole vaulted the Eiffel Tower. Now, as it happened, the king came by that very inn. Don't ask me why. And as the friends bragged over their beer, the king just chanced to own the hair. My daughter is funnier than Morgan and Wise. My daughter won the Man with other prize. My daughter runs six marathons in a day. And my daughter spins gold from hay. What's that? Say that again. Be bold. Your daughter spins hay into gold? The friends turned and respectfully bowed. Your Majesty, I am so proud to receive you in this inn. What will you have? A glass of wine? A glass of water, nothing more. You're just some hay, or is it straw? The miller turned as white as a ghost. He wished he had not made that boast. Um, nothing, sir. I said not to worry. I think perhaps that you must have. Don't be so modest. I heard you say that your daughter can spin gold from hay. How old is the girl? She's just nineteen. Perfect. She shall be my queen. I do not wish to be seen as callous, but bring her to the royal palace. Let her new royal life begin. But first, there's a room full of hay to spin. Well, yes, Your Majesty, I'm sure she'll try. Exactly. And if she fails, she'll die. What a dilemma. What can we do? The moral, don't make boasts which are not true. The next day, the king sent a limousine to collect the unhappy future queen. There's the straw, my dear. Spin right away. I'll be back at the end of the day. He left her there with heaps of straw. Then off he went and locked the door. It's impossible. Can't be true. What in the world am I to do? Look at all these heaps of straw covering, covering every inch of floor. You may think it isn't much, but it's like living in a rabbit touch. I can't make gold however I try. And if I fail, tomorrow I die. My situation is so tragic. What I need is some magic. What is that? Is someone there? Who are you? How did you get there? I'm the answer to a girl's prayer. I'm not sure about that at all. You're not good looking. Or strong. Or even tall. In fact, I think you're rather old. But I do know how to spin straw into gold. You do? I do. You can't? I can. What a peculiar little man. Should I trust him? No! I'll go then if you're not quite sure. Perhaps you just don't give a straw. No, please don't go. What is your price? Thank you very much. That's very nice. I've travelled over quite the distance, just to offer you my assistance. I don't ask for a reward, but tell me, what is it that you can afford? If what you claim is really true, there's nothing I would not do. Let me work without distraction, and if I give you satisfaction, in the morning at half past six, when you prepare your meeting fix, I have a challenge for you. Whatever you ask, I'm willing to do. Then it's time for me to begin. And so the little chap started to spin. Through all the night, Samantha was sleeping, never waking, never peeping. And when the clock was striking one, ding, the job had only just begun. And when the clock was striking two, dong, the little chap yawned, still much to do. I'm getting tired, I'm out of condition. There's so much to spin, I should have been a politician. But when at last the dawn was breaking, ding dong, ding dong, it was finished. He was making the whole room neat, tidy and clean, ready to, for the king and her new queen. It's done! I must have been dreaming. Everything in the room is gleaming. 
Look at all the... It's really true. Lo and behold, all the straw has turned to gold. This little man has kept his word. Who could believe this has occurred? I've transformed every stick of straw. It's finished now. Or is there more? You must be tired. Shall I make you some tea? Yes. You're welcome to put one sugar for me. But first, the challenge. It's a guessing game. You simply have to guess my name. Oh. And if you fail... And if you fail, every piece of straw will be straw again as it was before. Your name? But I've simply no idea. Ivan? Uh -uh. Boris? Vladimir? Uh -uh. uh -uh. No, none of those. Come on, try all names. Um, Dylan? Thomas? Henry? James? Emperor? Theobald? Oswald? Hedoram? Herwood? Theobald? Swithwin? Ferdinand? No, no, no. Um, William? Walter? Eugene? Peter? No, keep trying. Um, Leslie, Hilary, Charlie, Rita? Rita? Rita's a girl's name. Come on, try again. Clint, Kevin, can you, Darren, Wayne? You're not even close, you're at quite a loss. Try this one. Are you called Moss Bros? Moss Bros? What sort of name is that? It's the name inside of your hat. Of course not, nor Calvin Klein or Nike. Not the sort of names I like. Well, here's a name that's poetic and listen. I think you're called Rumpelstiltskin. Correct! Rumpelstiltskin, Rumpelstiltskin. How did you guess? You mean I'm right? Well, I suppose so, yes. I thought perhaps it was a joke. It's an name inside of your cloak. I don't believe it. It's impossible. It's weird. I'm going. At last the straw was spun. Rumpelstiltskin had had his fun. Smug for the stage, hip hip hooray, and back to the tavern by the end of the day. I feel half empty, ripped and torn They say there'll be plenty other hands to hold Now I wish they told me long ago Ooh, I don't want this to break you Ooh, but I've got no one else to talk I don't know if you mean everything to me And I wonder can I give you what you need Don't want to find I've lost it all Too scared to have no one to call So can we just pretend That we're not falling into the deep end Gone quiet, you don't cool, and nothing's funny anymore. And I keep trying to help you heal. I'll stop you crying and dry your tears. Ooh, I don't want this to break you. Ooh, I've got no one else to do I 
Two. 